<laughs> but to answer you directly, look, in short, this virus can stay within your body in terms of getting positive for up to three months. That does not mean you're infectious. After about day 8.1, certainly into day 10, um, if you have no symptoms, you're asymptomatic, and some is as far as day 13, for those who develop symptoms from the time of the onset of symptoms, those individuals become basically non-infectious. And these are some mechanisms that we have used even within the isolation facilities to do earlier testing to try to get people out of isolation a bit earlier. But to, to explain this to the average Barbados, especially to, to corporate Barbados, because I think you need to understand this, sending people for repeat PCR tests does not make any sense. These individuals can remain positive for up to three months, in some cases longer, and I'll give you a good example. Remember in the early part of this outbreak, when the rest of the world, including us, didn't know any better. We had people in Barbados in isolation after 72 days of positive tests. Remember that? Just imagine that you ask your workers to get retested over and over again to get a negative test and put them out of productivity to feeding their families from taking care of the normal livelihood from going, well, not going to school, not just yet. If you get vaccinated by the 50, that might happen. Going to school, doing all the lo lovely things you, you want to do. You're gradually going to deep. Deep, 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 um, you know, not help people to do that. So it's important for the average Barbadian to understand that. You can remain positive on your PCR test um, for up to about three months. And this is not only Barbados. If you look at all the international um, facilities, WHO, CDC, the European, um, NHS, etc., they all say the same thing. If you're positive within the last three months, you do not repeat your PCR test. You might get lucky and it might be negative, but sometimes it's positive because they're what we call people to be, what we call chronic shedders. So they shed little pieces of virus. It is not a whole virus that can infect anyone, but your body is mashed it up. Basically, it's up there and you're picking up. You just need a little piece for your test to go positive. So, so please, for those out there who are listening, um, you don't have to call me. I, I'm going to tell you on national TV. Uh, right, Akil, I'm going to tell you on national TV, there is no need to repeat people's tests again after they've test positive um, within a three-month period unless that person has developed new onset of symptoms. There have been only a few cases internationally of persons who had repeat infections in that early phase, but they usually, not usually, they always really present with symptoms. So in the absence of that, it's really a senseless, senseless event. Thank you. Prime Minister, I'll give you close.